Hi, I'm Taz Thornton and I want to talk to you today about changing your state. I'm talking about those days where we wake up and the stresses and strains and worries of everyday life that we all carry with us just feel too much and all we want to do is hide under the duvet. Now although that can feel comforting at first, we're not actually doing anything to change things. All we're doing is giving more and more of our energy to these negative states. So effectively, by just staying under the duvet and wallowing in them, we're giving them more energy and they're growing. So at the end of the day, I'm guessing most of the time you'll just feel more stressed because you haven't done anything positive to change either the situation or the way you perceive it. One of my greatest other teachers, a guy called Chris Lutterchow, once taught me about movement as a way of changing state. He used to say, change body, change state. And it really is that simple. For those of you who go to the gym, think about those times where maybe it's cold and grey and rainy and muddy outside and you really don't want to get up and make all that effort to go and work out. But how different do you feel when you make that change, when you actually go and do something positive, when you choose to take control of your life for an hour? I'm guessing that compared to the way you feel when you just choose to stay in bed instead, you feel like a million dollars when you actually choose to go and work out for an hour. Now I'm not suggesting you all hit the gym. It's not the gym for everyone. It, for me, it's, it's getting creative. I'm speaking to you today from my craft studio over at Unique Cottage Studios in Spalding. I'm not here every day. I'm not full time here. I'm here sometimes in the evenings and at weekends and sometimes in the week. It depends what else is going on and what I'm creating. But this place for me represents a real positive outlook. All those worries that I carry around with me, just like you, when I get here, it's like I put them all into a bin and leave them outside the door. And if I choose to, I can pick them up and take them with me on the way out. But you know what, most of the time, I don't want to pick them up again. When I step through this door, I'm coming into a really positive state. I'm coming into a place where I'm going to meditate and journey and create, connect with the universe, connect with my spirits and just make something physical out of nothing. And maybe, maybe I'm creating something, I'm channeling something for someone else who's asked me to, to make them something, either as a, a medicine piece or an anchor object to help them change their state. Sometimes it's medicine jewellery or a drum or a rattle or a staff or a wand, it could be anything. And that's part of the beauty of coming here because it just opens up possibilities. So from that state outside of here, where sometimes, like the rest of you, it can feel like the walls are closing in. I come in here, come in here. And the only limit is my imagination. So that for me, this is my coming to the gym. This is my doing something positive to change your state. Now it doesn't have to be creativity or the gym for you. It could be maybe turning the music up really loud and dancing it out. Or maybe it's singing at the top of your voice. Maybe it's going for a drive, maybe it's going for a walk, whatever it is. Movement changes so much. Honestly, it does. And you know what? When you start to get out of the funk, when you choose to change rather than just sitting and wearing all of those worries like a comfort blanket, guess what? Your energy starts to flow. And guess what else happens? Those trapped bits of, of your imagination, the locked up parts of your brain that just get so locked down by the stresses and strains, they start to unlock too. And sometimes... Just sometimes, solutions start to come in. There's no point sitting and blaming your parents or the media or the government or your friends or your peers or your family. Whatever's going on, it's yours. And it might not feel very nice to think that, but the only way you can change your life is by taking responsibility for it. So move. Don't sit in the problem. Get up, change, walk about, write things down, whatever it is for you, just don't keep sitting in it. Because when you're sitting in it, you're not doing anything to change it. And that's where you'll just feed those worries with more and more of your energy. You're feeding the beast, and the beast's only going to get bigger. And sooner or later, it will be bigger than you. So do something positive. Change body, change state. Don't sit in it. Don't blame external factors. Just do something positive to change the way you think about things. It's a really simple life rule, but honestly, it can make such a difference. Let me know how you get on. I'm Taz Thornton. You can find me on Facebook, 
on Twitter, look me up, drop me a line.